The following is a feature presentation of the Replay Sports Channel, home for the great games. The playoffs have begun. It is Wild Card Weekend. Four great games to kick the playoffs off. And today, we bring you the late Saturday afternoon game of the Wild Card Round, Chicago at Mexico City. Good afternoon, football fans. Glenn Walker here joining you from the Replay Sports Channel studios. We're getting ready to take you out to Azteca Stadium, all 7,120 feet above sea level, where the sixth seeded Chicago Fire will take on the Mexico City Aztecs. And Chicago was the team that had to wait to the very last game of the regular season, that Sunday night matchup between San Antonio and St. Louis, to find out whether or not they were going to make the playoffs or watch the games at home on TV. San Antonio's loss paved the way for the fire to make the playoffs. Mexico City, great season, double-digit wins. They just happen to be in the same division as the Las Vegas Outlaws. So they are the three seed hosting the sixth seed today. We're going to get ready to take you out to the field in just a few moments. As you can see with our playoff tree here, we already saw Toronto defeat Berlin 15 to 10. And now we're getting ready for the kickoff of the Chicago Mexico City game. So glad you could join us. 64 degrees, no wind, but again, the high altitude, always a factor on the visiting teams. Nick Saban leading the Chicago Fire into their 11th playoff appearance. Saban 3-2 and two in postseason appearances. And it's going to be Baker Mayfield at the helm for the fire versus Geno Smith. Two of these guys did not expect them to be on the roster before the season began. We're going to develop their stories more as we continue today. Referee Adrian Hill conducting the coin toss. Mexico City has won the toss they've elected to receive. Cameron Dicker placing the football on the tee, receiving some last minute instructions from referee Adrian Hill. Nixon will be the deep man for Mexico City. So game number two of Wild Weekend Saturday about ready to get underway. Here we go. Short kickoff to Nixon who takes it at the 10. He's to the 20, 25. Finally brought down at around the 29. And that'll bring out the Mexico City offense, led by quarterback Geno Smith. Running back Derrick Henry. And what a great season he had. Wide receivers Amari Cooper and Nelson Aguilar lining up on the left side. Mike Evans on the right. You'll notice no Michael Pittman Jr., out with a knee injury. They hope to have him back if they can advance to the divisional round. Derek Watt will be the tight end. Laramie Tunsil, all-star selection. Jack Conklin will be at the tackles. Cam Jurgens and Braden Smith are the guards. Eric McCoy will be at center. Smith breaks the huddle. Mexico City in their home uniforms. Green jerseys, white pants, gold helmets, black numerals, working right to left across your screen. The 
Smith to pass on first down. Forced to flee the pocket it's to the 35, as the first down at the 40. 45 finally brought down by Jenkins. A pickup of 19 yards for Geno Smith. Before the season, Matthew Stafford decided to sit out over a contract dispute. Geno Smith was signed and became the starter. And what a season he has had. Let's take good, quickly take a look at that Chicago defense. Taquan Graham, Derek Barnett are the defensive ends. Grady Jarrett, Colin Saunders are the defensive tackles. Willie Gay, Rashad Weaver are the linebackers. Michael Davis, J.C. Horn are the cornerbacks. Damar Hamlin, Rashawn Jenkins, who just made the tackle, are at safeties. Kwan Williams is the nickel. First and 10, ball to Mexico City 48 after the 19-yard pickup by Smith. Smith. Back to pass, over the middle, completes it to Cooper. Inside Chicago territory, Horn with the tackle at the Chicago 45. Brings up second and two. Season for Smith, 339 completions, 455 attempts, 3,707 yards, 30 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Three wide receivers set in for Mexico City. Smith to pass again. Completes it to Aguilar at the 35. Spin move, and then Jenkins finally drags him down at the 33. Pickup of 12, another first down. Mexico City on the move here. First possession of the game. Aztecs moving to a two tight end formation. Smith parking out the signals. Another pass. This time Fant to the far sideline. Pushed out of bounds by Jenkins near the eight. We have an injured Chicago player, Barnett, the defensive end, and he is going to need help before he can get to the sideline. So serious injury there for the defensive end, Barnett. And Chicago dealing with a moving Mexico City offense and now one of their defensive star defensive linemen out with injury. Mexico City switches to the I formation now. Watt is the fullback, Henry the tailback. Henry will get the handoff, left side of the line. He's got the first down, but we got a penalty flag. First time we'll hear from Adrian Hill tonight. Offsetting penalties, repeat, second down. So the three yard gain is scratched. We're gonna do over second and two. Cooper, Evans, and Aguilar are the wide receivers. Smith back to pass. Over the middle, completes it to Evans inside the 10, the 5. DeMar Hamlin with the tackle inside the 5-yard line. 19-yard pickup, first and goal, Aztecs. Mike Evans injured for part of the season. Coming back at a great time with Pittman being out to injury. And off to Henry into the left side of the line. He scores. Touchdown Aztecs. Henry, 14 touchdowns in the regular season. Adds one here in the postseason. As we watch the replay once again. Watch that offensive line go to work on the left side there. Pulling guard. And then the hole for Henry to drive a truck through. 
Crosby on to kick the point after. Six plays, 71 yard drive, just taking up three minutes. And the Aztecs, the three seed in the West, have an early 7 0 lead with just 11 and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Couldn't have scripted that better if you were an Aztecs fan. Wang Wu is the deep return man for Chicago. Cosby. Oh, this one's going to be a short kickoff. Turner takes it at his own 10. He's to the 20. Gets around one man. 25. 30. Finally pushed out of bounds near the 35. Baker Mayfield. The start of the season was not with the team. He had been let go by Birmingham after last season. But the hand injury to regular starting quarterback Kyler uh, Murray gave the job to Baker Mayfield. Chicago had started two and five. They ended five and two under Mayfield's time at quarterback. David Montgomery will be at running back. Amon Ross St. Brown. He was an injured concern because of a leg injury, but he worked out in pregame. He is playing tonight. George Pickens will be at the other wide receiver. They line up on the left side. Demarcus Robinson will line up on the right. Anthony Ferkser, another player coming in we weren't sure about with a knee injury. He is lined up at tight end. Evan Neal, Jonah Williams are at tackle. Kevin Zeitler, Jonah Jackson are the guards. Connor McGovern at center. As Mayfield breaks the huddle, Chicago in their all-white away uniforms. Red helmets, red numerals, moving left to right across your screen. Ferkser sets up in the slot. Baker, back to pass. Over the middle and over the head of Ferkser. High throw, maybe a little bit of nervousness there on behalf of the Chicago quarterback. Let's take a look at that Mexico City defense. Wise and Lawson are the defensive ends. Derek Brown and Lee McNeil are the defensive tackles. Floyd and Smith are your linebackers. Trayvon Diggs, Tariq Woolen, all-star selection in his rookie year at the other cornerback. Kyle Hamilton, Jalen Petrie of the safeties, Kyle Fuller lined up at the nickel. Brings up second and ten. Draw play to Montgomery. And he's going to lose a couple. Aztecs defense not fooled on that one. It's going to bring up third and twelve. Four wide receivers set in for Chicago. Mayfield with time. Throws across the middle to St. Brown at the 40. Trying to reach for that first down, but Tariq Woolen stops him about a yard shy. Check that. Be three yards shy of the first down, and Chicago will send out the punting unit. Jake Camarda. We'll be prepared to kick it away. Nixon back to return. Nixon makes the catch at the 10. He's to the 20, the 30. Finally dragged down at the Mexico City 30. 9.51 to go here in the first quarter. Mexico City gets ready to start their second possession. Geno Smith starting the game four for four in the passing department. They'll start with I formation on this first possession, the second possession. Hand off to Henry. Looking for a hole on the right side. Picks up about three. Tackled by Graham. They'll bring up second and long. 
Henry on the season, 191 carries, 878 yards, and again the 14 touchdowns that we mentioned a while ago. Second and seven, Smith sets up in the pistol. Henry the lone running back. Rush is on, picked up by the offense. He throws Cooper with the catch near the 45. Tackle by Horn, pickup of 12, first down Aztecs. Mexico City able to move the ball very effectively here early. Smith to pass on first down, completes a short pass to Fant at midfield. Pickup of six, Jenkins with the tackle, will bring up second and four. Aztecs go back to the I formation. Mixing the run and the pass very effectively here. Off tackle right. Henry cannot move the pile forward. Saunders touches him down at the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up third and four, nearing the halfway point of the first quarter. Aztecs lead seven to nothing. Smith with time. Over the middle, completes it to Evans at the 40 of Chicago. Gains about an extra yard or two before Davis brings him down. Evans, so hard to bring down. Pickup of 11. Smith, off to a perfect start. Seven of seven for 76 yards. Smith, looking for a receiver. Ball tipped at the line. I think he was checking down to the running back, Henry. Clock stops with 6.16 to go in the first quarter. First incompletion for Smith. And this one is intended in the general area for Watt, but a little too far ahead of him there. And he'll bring up third and 10. Four wide receiver set for the Aztecs. Smith back to pass. Getting great protection up front. Completes the pass over the middle to Cooper. Stretches for that first down. Looks like he's got it. Cooper already on the afternoon, three catches for 30 yards. Hundred and thirteen yards gained already by the Aztecs. Screen pass to Henry. It's to the twenty five. Gay finally brings him down. At about the 24, pick up a four yards. Five and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Mexico City on the move again. Henry with a handoff. Off to the right side. Gets to about the 20 before Weaver pulls him down. It'll bring up third and two. Henry will stay in the game at running back. I'll go three wide receiver set. They're gonna pass. Smith checks underneath to Henry, but he's gonna be Stopped at the line. No pickup. It'll bring up fourth down. And head coach Kevin Stefanski will send out his kicker 
Mason Crosby. Crosby on the season, 17 of 22 in the field goal kicking department. This one looks to be from about 37 yards out. Good snap, hole, kick on the way, and it's good. So 3.24 left to go in the first quarter. The Aztecs have jumped to a double digit lead, 10 to nothing on the Chicago Fire. Chicago led by head coach Nick Saban, three and two in postseason play. His first year at Chicago back in 2018, he led his team to the Pantheon Bowl. This is their first postseason appearance since 2021. Crosby's kickoff will not be returned. Chicago will start their own 25. Yeah, you look at that Chicago injured list before the start of the game. It's a lot of players, but seeing some of them able to, to come back, like St. Brown and Ferkser, as Montgomery picks up seven. Stopped at the 32 by Wise. Montgomery on the season, 168 carries, 705 yards, and just three touchdowns. Just over three minutes left, first quarter. Aztecs have jumped out to a 10 to nothing lead here in the Western wildcard game. Completes it to Robinson, he fumbles. And it looks like Mexico City recovers. The previous play is under review. The ruling on the field is confirmed. And Nick Saban was wanting a, an explanation there by referee Adrian Hill because he thought Robinson did not have complete control of that. So on the replay, Robinson catches the ball, and the referee determines he makes the football move by turning and beginning to run. Fuller, Johnny on the spot with the hit and the strip and the recovery. So Fuller with the tackle, Fuller with the forced fumble, Fuller with the fumble recovery. Aztecs will get the ball to Chicago 43, two and a half minutes to go. And they are looking to increase their lead. Aztecs line up in the I formation. Henry gets the handoff. Straight up the middle, gets near the 40. He's dropped by Grant. Pickup of three. Five carries, just 15 yards so far today for Derrick Henry. Smith drifts right. Oh, looking. Looking for Mike Evans, but they were not on the same page. Bring up third and seven. Four wide receivers set in for Mexico City. Smith back to pass. Drifting right, throws back left, completes it to Cooper at the 35, trying to stretch for that first down. And he's going to be about a yard shy. Smith off to an 11 of 14, 96 yard start. And Kevin Stefanski, the head coach, is going to keep the offense out on the field. Fourth and one. Aztecs lead by 10. Mexico City brings in the big boys. No secret who it's going to go to. Henry's the tailback. 
Man in motion. Henry gets the ball. Off tackle left. Ooh, it's going to be close. No, didn't get it. Chicago Fire defensive players high-fiving each other as they head back to the sidelines. Huge, crucial stop for the Fire. Minute two left. Can Chicago convert this turnover into some points? Mayfield from the pistol on first and 10. Fires to Pickens near the 40. Tackled by Diggs, a pickup of five. Under a minute to go here in the opening quarter. Screen pass to Montgomery. Looking for room to run. He's near the first down. Nope, they're going to mark his progress down after a pickup of two. And that will be the final play of the first quarter. And the Aztecs get off to a great start. They have a 10 to nothing lead after one. Going to take a quick timeout. You're watching WFL Football Wild Card Weekend here on the Replay Sports Channel. We'll be back in just a moment. get this in during the Toronto Berlin game I apologize but we wanted to in each of our wildcard games today highlight the nominees for some of the big awards coming up at the gridiron awards or the gritties as we call them that'll be the night before the Pantheon Bowl first up we have the rookie of the year nominees sauce Gardner cornerback from New York 40 tackles, 7 interceptions, and 13 deflections. Number one pick by the Generals. Kenny Pickett for the Birmingham Americans. What a season he had. 333 completions, 542 attempts, 61% completion percentage, two, almost 3,000 yards, 2,879 yards, 13 interceptions, 11 touchdowns and a quarterback rating of 72.2. He's currently going to be injured. Uh, hurt his knee in that last game. And he's going to miss tomorrow's game, but they're hoping to have him back if they, if they do advance. And then, of course, the final nominee, Chris Olave, wide receiver from Paris. What a rookie season he had. 76 catches, 956 yards, and 14 touchdowns. So congratulations to these three young men for being nominated for Rookie of the Year. We will find out the winner at the Gritties, the Gridiron Awards. That's going to be the night before Pantheon Bowl 22. All right, so we're going to take a quick look at the first quarter statistics. It's been all Mexico City. Uh, scoring on their first two possessions of the game. They're dominating uh, pretty much all the major categories here. Offense, 131 yards to 32. Time of possession, over 11 minutes in time of possession. Very, very big. And the day that Geno Smith is starting to have, he is already near 100 yards passing. Got things started off really well with that 19-yard scramble on that first play. Take it back out to the field now. Chicago facing third and three as we start the second quarter.
Four wide receivers set in for Mayfield. Mayfield with time over the middle. Pickens has the catch first down. Pickens with his second catch of the night. Chicago looking to get something going here. Already down 10-0. Hand off to Montgomery, right side of the line, nears midfield. McNeil with the tackle. They'll say he's down at the Chicago 49 and pick up a three. Three wide receiver set for Chicago. Mayfield in trouble. Going to have to scramble. He's into Mexico City territory. Finally gets a pickup of five. Floyd with the tackle. And it'll bring up third and two. Mayfield surveys the field. Look out. Wise drops him for the sack. Wise was the leader in sacks for Mexico City with four during the season. I think he was able to pull Mayfield down by the belt there. Now bring up fourth and nine and punting time again for the fire. Jake Camardo looking to put this one deep into Chicago into Mexico City territory. Gonna angle this one to the near sideline. Does it get inside the 20? Inside the 15, near the 10. And one of the side judges there rules it out of bounds at the 11. Clock stops with 12.08. Mexico City will start at their own 11. They're coached by Kevin Stefanski. Team making its fifth playoff appearance. They're three and four. Stefanski's led him to two straight playoff appearances. Last season, they were one and out, beaten by San Antonio 33-25 at the Alamo Dome in the wild card game. Geno Smith, 11-14, 96 yards, off to a great start. Worst starting field position of the night for Aztecs. Cooper catches the ball near the 20. Horn with the tackle, pickup of eight. If you're just joining us, no Michael Pittman. Knee injury will be out tonight. If Mexico City can advance to the divisional round, they hope to have him back. Michael Pittman was the leading, was the league's leading receiver this season. 98 catches. Smith, play action, gonna throw. Ball batted away at the line. Incomplete, brings up third and two. Chicago Fire making adjustments defensively. Smith, short slant to Evans. He's got the first down. Pickup of three, Davis with the stop. Evans now with three catches for 33 yards. Tony Pollard checks into the game at running back. First time we've seen him tonight. Giving Derrick Henry a break. Give us to Pollard. He's going to go to the left side of the line and picks up maybe a yard. Brooks with the tackle at the 23.
Henry checks back into the game. So one one quick and out in and out play for Pollard. Henry penetrates the left side of the line, and he is stopped by Barmore at the line of scrimmage. So Chicago finding some early success against the run here. They force a third and nine for the Aztecs. Smith throws downfield to Bird, but it's incomplete, and it'll bring up fourth down. And Thomas Morstead out to punt. Cole back deep to receive. Morstead gets the punt away. Cole will call for a fair catch at the Chicago 26. 9-12 to go here in the second quarter. Mexico City lead it 10 to nothing. Doing some research for this game, found some interesting factoids here for Chicago. Um, we mentioned this is their first playoff appearance since 2021. They have not won a playoff game since the 2018 Pantheon Bowl. Nick Saban's first year as, as head coach. And to find the last time the Fire won a playoff game on the road. Hang on to your hats for this. You got to go back to 2005 Western Wild Card game at Oakland. The old Oakland Invaders. Chicago won that game 31 to 6. So you got to go back 18 years ago <laughs> for that one. I think that was the Lovey Smith era in Chicago. First and 10 for the Fire, starting from their own 26. 9-12 to go here in the second quarter. And penalty flag before the play can get off. Ball start. Offense, number 73, five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Now be on the right tackle, Williams. Moves them back five. Ball will be placed at the Chicago 21. Mayfield throws downfield and over the head of Robinson. Incomplete, brings up second and 15. Mayfield, looking downfield, completes it this time to Robinson at the 30. Finally pushed out of bounds by Fuller near the 35. A pickup of 11. Brings up a very manageable third and four. Four wide receivers set in for Chicago. Mayfield in trouble. Sacked by Lawson. Second sack of the night of the Chicago quarterback, and it'll bring up fourth down. Going back to that 2018 Pantheon Bowl win, quarterback for Chicago then was Cam Newton. But then, a couple of years later, Kyler Murray, the draft pick deemed to be the, the future prospect, which has not panned out. His injury midway through the Holding season. Receiving team. So I'll hold that thought. Penalty on Mexico City, and they're going to start in bad field position again, this time from the 12. I think the earlier last possession was from the 11. 
We're halfway through the second quarter. Aztecs lead 10 to nothing. But getting back to my story, Kyler Murray's hand injury midway through the season. Saban signs Baker Mayfield off the street, and Mayfield leads the fire to a 5-2 and two record. So, of course, sets up the obvious offseason question, who will be the starting quarterback next season for the Chicago Fire? So that will be a story we definitely want to stay tuned for. So Mexico City, deep in their own end again, starting from their own 12. I formation behind Smith. Pitch left to Henry. And he's going to be hit behind the line. Nope, they're going to skate guy yard. How about that? I thought he got hit behind the line of scrimmage. Brooks with a stop at the 13. Seeing the Chicago defense make their adjustments. Smith is being pressured a lot more than he was at first, and they're plugging those running lanes that Henry was taking advantage of early in the first quarter. Second and nine. Smith back to pass. Looking. Completes it to Aguilar at the 22. He's got a first down. Give us to Henry. Right side of the line. Picks up about four. Grant with a tackle at the 27. And getting closer to halftime, we will um, review the first half of this game and we'll talk about our two games tomorrow. London at Birmingham and Memphis at San Diego. Both of those games feature an injury to a starting quarterback. So you'll want to kind of hear the latest on that. Evans comes in motion near side. Henry takes it, goes into the right side. He gets to the 30. He's got the first down, 35. Grant finally stops him at the 36, a pickup of nine. First down, coming up to the five-minute mark of the second quarter. Pass complete to Aguilar, near side of the 40. He's trying to shake away one man. Jenkins finally trips him up. At about the Mexico City 42. Brings up second and four. Chicago missing several players on defense. Defensive ends Basham and Hubbard, both out with either a knee or ankle injuries. Hubbard was thought to be a probable, but did not make it through the pregame warmups. No Micah Hyde at safety, dealing with a wrist injury. Smith changing the play at the line of the scrimmage. Give us to Henry. Into the right side of the line. Pick up of two. Nandi with the tackle. Now bring up third and two. Fast-moving second quarter. Smith in trouble. Going to run for it. He's got the first down. He's to midfield. He's to into Chicago territory, and he races out of bounds before Davis can lay the wood on him. Pickup of 13 yards. Smith gaining a lot of yards on the ground already in just two runs. 
Ball will be placed at the Chicago 43. Clock stops with three minutes and four seconds left in the second quarter. Play action. Smith over the middle. Completes it. Evans at the 30. Tackled by Horn. Pick up a 14. Getting near the two-minute mark. Stefanski tells Smith to hurry it up. They go no huddle. Get the playoff in time. Over the middle, completes it to Cooper at the 20. Near the first down, but he's going to be short. And that'll be the last play before the two-minute warning. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Aztecs on the move. They lead it 10 to nothing. Another quick break, and we'll be back to finish out the first half. You're watching the wild card round of the playoffs here on the Replay Sports Channel. Two-minute warning. Aztecs with the ball inside Chicago territory. Chicago's defense needs a stop here. Second and one. Smith, quick toss in the general vicinity of Aguilar was incomplete. That was almost intercepted by Jenkins. Stops the clock with a minute 57, third and one. Got the short yardage crew in now. Going to try to go for it on the ground. Give us to Henry and to the right side of that line. No, they closed the door. Graham with the tackle leading the charge at the 21. Henry will lose a yard. Coach Saban not using a timeout here. And Stefanski's going to let this one run. And stops the clock with his first timeout. Minute 10 left to go. He'll bring out Mason Crosby for the field goal attempt. This one looking to be from about 38 yards. Made one from 37 earlier. Snap, hold, kick on the way, and good. Crosby two for two. And it's still a two score game though. Chicago with 66 seconds left. And they will get the ball to start the second half so they can get a score here. As Nguyen Wu awaits the return. Smythe and Bell are the short return men. Take it at his own goal line. He's to the 10, the 20, near the 30, finally stopped at the 28. 60 seconds left to go in the first half. Fire trail 13 to nothing. Baker Mayfield has all three of his timeouts. And try to work some of that two minute offense here. Mayfield looking downfield. 
Leads it to Pickens near the 40, tries to get out of bounds, and he does. That second effort reach made it to the, the, the pylon there, so he picked up the first down. Also stops the clock with 56 seconds. They get to save one of their timeouts. Mayfield just 7 of 9 for 54 yards. Back to pass again, forced to flee the pocket. There's a penalty flag that might be in the area of holding as Hamilton tackles him at the 40. Holding, offense, number 73, 10-yard penalty. And left tackle Neal gets called for the hold. Pushes him back to the 28. It'll be first and 20 with 51 seconds left. Empty backfield behind Mayfield. Ball batted at the line. Looks like Brown got a hand up. Incomplete brings up second and 20. Clock stops with 47 seconds. Mayfield over the middle. St. Brown at the 40 to the 45. Woolen drags him down near the 43. They gotta hurry. No, Mexico City calls a timeout. So Mexico City uses their second timeout. Clock stops with 42 seconds. It is third and five. Mayfield, looking, fires downfield, looking for Bell, but it's incomplete. Brings up fourth and five, and Saban decides to send out the punting unit. Camarda boots this one away. Aiming for the far sideline. He gets it out of bounds near the 15. Officially marked out of bounds at the 13. 33 seconds left. Aztecs have a 13 to nothing lead here. Can't see them really do anything risky here with Chicago getting the ball to start the second half. And it's a line plunge there for Henry. And he gets picked up three, and that's going to be the last play. And both teams begin the trek to the sidelines to their respective dressing rooms. Impressive start for the Aztecs. Chicago's showing some, some signs of defensive... Uh, uh, making some pro progressions there, trying to keep the Aztecs out of the end zone. But it's the Chicago offense who needs to start scoring some points here. They trail 13 to nothing. Halftime festivities to come up soon. You're watching the Replay Sports Channel's coverage of the WFL 2023 Wildcard Weekend. We'll be back in a few moments.
sorry about the technical difficulties there as we were just showing here in the wild card round uh, we had the Toronto Berlin game yesterday Toronto winning that by a score of 15 to 10 Greg Zerline provided yeah, pretty much all the scoring there five field goals tying a league playoff record London Birmingham Memphis to San Diego tomorrow quarterback injuries are a big part of those games Memphis quarterback Lamar Jackson re-injured his collarbone in that week 14 game at Chicago he'll be out for a week Jacoby uh, I'm sorry Mitch Trubisky will get the start for the Express and then the Birmingham London game rookie Kenny Pickett suffered a knee injury and he will be replaced by Jacoby Brissett so how will those games factor out well you'll get to watch those here on the replay sports channel make sure to subscribe and like so you can watch those games exclusively here so we're going to take you back out to the field halftime festivities are in the process of finishing up we want to take a look at the uh, statistics there's the score line Mexico City it's been all them in the scoring Derrick Henry scored a touchdown on the game's first possession and then Crosby has added field goals later on. As we take a look at the rest of the statistics, Mexico City, 12 first downs compared to Chicago's two. Rushing game, passing game, all check marks going to Mexico City. Penalties, both teams have been penalized twice already. Chicago does have the one turnover, the fumble. And then moving down to time of possession. Dominant time of possession, 21 minutes and 11 seconds for Mexico City compared to just under 9 minutes for Chicago. Third down conversion rate, always an important stat to look at. Chicago 1 of 5 on third down. Mexico City not doing too bad, 4 of 8. And then in the player statistics, Mayfield not having a great day throwing the ball. He will need to step up, as Nick Saban said in the sideline interview, coming back out of the dressing room. Rushing game. They've only ran the ball for 13 yards, four carries. They have to do a better job of that. Geno Smith on the Mexico City sideline, 17 of 23, 146 yards. He's also ran the ball well, two carries for 32 yards. Derrick Henry's doing the line share of the rushing. 13 carries, 34 yards, and the one touchdown. Leading receiver for Chicago is Pickens, with three catches for 21 yards. And Amari Cooper, six catches, 53 yards for Mexico City. Getting ready to take you back out on the field now as Mexico City will prepare to kick off to Chicago. Full capacity crowd here at Azteca Stadium in Mexico City. Again, the altitude here, 7,120 feet above sea level. And we'll see what impact that has on the visiting team as we proceed through the second half. Crosby sends a deep one toward the end zone. Wang Wu tracks it, decides to return it. He's at the 10. The 15, the 20, the 30 before being dropped down by Peppers. They're going to mark him down at the 27. So a return of 28. Chicago gets the ball at their 27. And Chicago gets the first possession of the third quarter. And as Nick Saban said in the halftime interview, Chicago's offense needs to get something going here. Cannot rely all on the defense. After the kickoff, it'll be first and 10, while the Chicago 27. Mayfield, under trouble, forced to scramble. He's to the 30, near the 34 before sliding down, a pickup of seven. And we're going to 
get to see Cream Hunt in for the first time tonight. Hunt, up the middle, he's got the first down. Pickup of six. Tackled by Smith. Hunt gets the ball again, gets away from one defensive end. Finally picks up two, Petrie with the tackle. Fresh set of legs here making a difference early in Chicago's first possession of the second half. From the pistol, Mayfield fires over the middle. Pass intended for Ferkser, but it was incomplete. Brings up third and eight. Chicago just one of five on third down conversions tonight. Pass with protection. Fires over the middle, completes it to Robinson at midfield, tries to stretch into enemy territory. Fuller probably brings him, finally brings him out with a stop. It's a first and ten after a nine yard pickup. Ball just inside Mexico City territory. Ball will be marked at the Mexico City 49. Mayfield with time. Far side to St. Brown. He's got another first down. Oh no, they say only got nine. Knee down, leg down before he reached over to the first down marker. Tackled by Woolen. So bring up second and one. Formation behind Mayfield. Montgomery checks back in at running back. Montgomery picking a hole right side. Looks like he's got the first down. Wise with the tackle after a pickup of two. Montgomery on the night. Just four carries, ten yards. One reception for two yards. Chicago has a squad just averaging 3.8 yards a carry. Eight carries, 30 yards altogether. Chicago into the three wide receiver set. Mayfield with room to pass, drifts to his right. Looking around, St. Brown tries to die for the pass, but cannot come up with it. Incomplete. Clock stops with 10.30 to go here early in the third quarter. Aztecs lead at 13 to nothing. Montgomery will take the draw play to the 35, 30, 20, one man to beat Petrie with the touchdown saving tackle at the 10 yard line. 28 yard pickup, probably the longest run from scrimmage tonight by Chicago. Chicago inside the red zone for the first time tonight. Ball be placed at the Mexico City 10 yard line. It's first and goal fire.
He failed just nine passing touchdowns on the season. This time he's looking for Pickens in the back of the end zone, but he overthrows him. Incomplete, brings up second and goal. Nine and a half minutes to go here in quarter number three. Ferkser moves to the slot on the near side. Mayfield passes. Ferkser was coming in on slant. Couldn't get to the ball in time. Incomplete. And it'll bring up third and goal. The smatterings of Chicago Fire fans who made it down here south of the border making their disgust heard. Third and goal. Ball at the Mexico City 10. They trail 13 to nothing. Four wide receivers set in for the fire. Mayfield looking over the middle. Had Robinson, but overthrew him. So they'll bring up fourth and goal. And that will force Coach Saban to send out Cameron Dicker. Dicker on the season, 26 of 28 in field goals. Trying to get Chicago on the scoreboard here with a 38 yard field goal attempt. Make that 28 yard field goal attempt and it's good. So with 9.20 to go, Chicago finally gets on the scoreboard. They trail by 10 here near the midway point of the third quarter. Hey gang, if you follow the WFL and you want to get news and notes and what's going on around the league, encourage you to check out the Facebook page Sports Simulation and Replay Group. Uh, we put a lot of information on there and also the links to some of my longer pieces uh, about the league itself, the doings. Uh, WFL has been around for a long time. Uh, hard to believe we're going to be coming up on our 50th season here in a few short years, about four years away. We have a lot of cool things planned when we get to the 50th season. So uh, we'll try to drop some of those in on you as we move along. But the replay, uh, sports simulation and replay page on the Facebook page. Share some knowledge with you about this great league. Short kickoff by Dicker. Taken at the 10. 20, 30, 40, finally overcome by a lot of guys in white jerseys. Nixon, 33-yard return. It's Mexico City out to their 42. Just over nine minutes left to go in the third quarter. Much better field position now for Mexico City as they start their first possession of quarter number three. Pollard checks into the game at running back. Henry getting some additional moments rest for what will surely be an interesting second half. Graham wraps up Pollard after a two yard pickup. Ball will be placed at the Mexico City 44. Mexico City's running backs have run the ball 17 times for 69 yards, averaging 4.1 yards per carry. Henry back into the game at running back. Flag on the play as Henry gets to about the 45. Oh, we got pulled down by the face mask. Encroachment defense. Is that going to get caught? Number 99, five-yard penalty. So they catch the encroachment, but not the face mask. So 
Stefanski's going to accept the encroachment. That'll give him five yards. It'll bring up second and three. But he's kind of wondering about the face mask penalty that wasn't called there. Again, our referee, refereeing officiating crews, these are, are the ones that graded out the best during the season. Uh, they work in uh, what would be like an all-star crew, uh, the best of the best of these crews. We have Adrian Hill. I'm sorry, Carl Cheffers with us tonight. Adrian Hill did the... It is Adrian Hill. I'm sorry, I'm looking at <laughs> Carl Cheffers did the earlier game today. My glasses aren't working here. All right, so second and three. Ball just inside Mexico City territory. It's the Aztecs looking to extend their lead. Another flag on the play. Here at holding is Aguilar makes the catch, but let's see what Personal the referee foul. says. Defense. Oh. Number two, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. So that one was on Jenkins while he was making the tackle of Aguilar. So tack on 10 more yards. And ball will be at the Chicago 26. Now the fire has been penalized four times for 35 yards. Mexico City two for 12 nearing the eight minute mark of the third quarter. Pollard back into the game at running back. Pollard gets a handoff, off tackle left. He's to the 25. Stopped at the 22 by Grant. Pick up a four. Running back tag team going on here. Pollard in. Henry in. Trying to run down the defense in this high altitude arena. Pickup of one for Henry. Gay spins him down at the 21. Halfway through the third quarter. Aztecs lead it by 10, looking to add some more points. Third and five. Empty backfield behind Smith. Smith throws near side pass was intended for Cooper but Horn was there and oh we got an injured player Rock Yassin for Chicago is going to be helped off the field don't know the extent of the injury but it looks like he's heading straight to the blue medical tent over there already taking his helmet off while he's talking to the chief medical trainer so it's now fourth and five and we do see the field goal kicking unit coming back out. Crosby's already hit a couple today. That earlier game we saw Sirline knock out five tied for league playoff record. So Crosby at his own 21. So another 38 yard attempt, snap, hold, makes its way, and it's good. So with 641 left to go, Mexico City reestablishes a 13 point lead, 16 to three, here late in the third quarter. Don't forget, at the end of the third quarter, as promised earlier, we will announce the Defensive Player of the Year nominees. The Gridiron Awards coming up Saturday prior to Pantheon Bowl 22. These are some of the big awards. We told you about the Rookie of the Year awards. 
During the third minute intermission, we will give you the uh, top three Defensive Player of the Year awards. Rocky Sin, he's back up on his feet on the sideline, has his helmet on, making some small talk with some of the other players in the defensive backfield meeting group there. Looks like he'll be good to go. Crosby to kick it off to Nguyen Gu. And that one will not be returned. Chicago will start their own 25, 6.41 left to go in the third quarter. If things hold as they are, Aztecs win. They're the third seed. They would end up playing the four seed. The, four seed, the, four, uh, the, the winner of the, uh, the lesser winner of the 4-5 game which would be Memphis, San Diego. San Diego is the five seed. San Diego is the four seed. And Vegas would get the higher seed. Baker Mayfield starting at his own 25. His team trails by 13 late in the third quarter. See what Baker can cook up here in the second half. Baker from the pistol. Throws the screen to Montgomery. Has room to run along the sidelines. But he's going to be tackled in the backfield. A loss of three. Tackled by Smith. 121 total, 129 total yards for Chicago. 230 for Mexico City. Pass drifting right finds his man Robinson, but Robinson drops the ball. Mayfield disgusted with himself. That's his fifth bad pass of the night. Not a good tape to put together here if you're trying to convince the coaching staff that you should be the starting quarterback in 2024. Brings up third and a very long 13. They need to get to the Chicago 35 to keep this drive alive. Five wide receivers set coming into the game now for Chicago. Again, no Jerry Judy tonight. Back spasms, he is out of the game. They miss him tonight. Ball is intercepted by Woolen. Wollen finally brought down by Diggs. Wollen, and what a season he has had. This rookie with seven interceptions has returned two of them for touchdowns. And this one could be a very important one for the Mexico City Aztecs. Let's watch that again on the instant replay. Mayfield. Throwing it, and Woolen there, picking the pocket of the wide receiver. 5.41 to go here, third quarter. Mexico City getting ready to try and make a statement here. Three wide receivers line up in a trip left formation. Smith from the pistol in trouble. Runs to the 15. Finally spun down by Gay at the 11. Pick up a five by Smith.
love the baseball card innovation that was introduced in this year's game. Um, I'm playing the 2023 season with my league, but when the 2024 version came out, I just transferred everything over. Three carries for 37 yards by Geno Smith. Second and five coming up, five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Pitch right to Henry. Into the right side of the line. Inside the 10, Jenkins brings him down at the 8. Pickup of 3. He'll bring up 3rd and a short 2. Need to get to the Chicago 6 to pick up the first down. And they bring in the big boys. Jumbo package for the Mexico City Aztecs. Give to Henry, right side of the line, and he's got the first down. Officially a pickup of three. Puts him over 40 yards rushing for the night, and it'll bring up first and goal for the Aztecs. See some more ground and pound here. Football as it should be. Henry barges his way into the middle of the line. Gay with the stop. No gain. Brings up second and goal. Three and a half minutes to go here, third quarter. Switch to a three wide receiver set. One tight end. Henry the lone running back. Cooper, Evans, and Aguilar are the wide receivers. Pass. Into the end zone. Cooper leaps. Makes the catch. Hamlin was guarding him but he couldn't out jump him. Touchdown for Amari Cooper. And for Geno Smith, 31st touchdown of the season. So we'll watch that on the replay from the guys in the truck. Crosby getting ready to make this a 20-point game. And he does. 2.54 to go here in the third quarter. The Chicago Fire have their work cut out for them. They trail 23-3 late in the third. Just a reminder, stick with us between the third and the fourth quarter. We'll make our announcement for the nominees for the Defensive Player of the Year nominees for the Gridiron Awards. Number three seed in WFL playoff history against a six seed is 33 and 15 since the league changed the playoff format back in 2000 so 22 years ago this is the 23rd year of the new of the new format of the current format you got to go back three years ago to the last time a six seed upset a three seed year was 2020 washington federals 
one, 34 to 21 at the Magic Kingdom against the Orlando Apollos. And Washington was also featured in a bit of trivia about the 4-5 combination, I believe. They defeated Birmingham 23 to 14 back in 2019. Something something for Washington fans to kind of cheer up about. Uh, it's a second year in a row they're going to be making the number one pick. Of course, rumors are flying that some changes are in order. We are talking a complete rebrand of the team, the colors, the name, uh, and the stadium. So if you've been following the story out of the papers in Washington and on the local uh, radio shows there, uh, it sounds like the Washington Federals may be no more. But it'll be a new, different team that lines up. But of course, you want to follow Replay Sports Channel and our reporting in the offseason to keep track with all those. So after the Wang Wu 30-yard kick return, Chicago starts at their own 31. Baker Mayfield, 11 of 22, 84 yards, the one pick. Finds themselves down by three touchdowns. Got to get something going here. Mayfield, forced to flee the pocket. Picks up one before being tackled by Lawson. And, oh, we got an injury to Kyle Fuller, one of the defensive backs. He's getting helped off to the sidelines. His left knee is going to be taken a look at. So his night may be over. Clock stops at 2.38 to go here in the third quarter. And I think in his place is going to be Hamilton. Yeah, Kyle Hamilton, young man out of Notre Dame. Baker from the pistol. Montgomery, the lone running back. Taking his time, he's gonna throw long. Incomplete, Robinson was the intended receiver. Nixon close by, a little too close. Robinson protesting for a yellow flag that is not coming. Now bring up third and nine. Under pressure, he gets the ball away in time, but it's intercepted by Diggs. That might be rough on the passer. Roughing the passer, yep. defense. Number 58, 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. And Carl Lawson. Gets called for the roughing the pass. Well, let's watch this again. He gets rid of the ball and, you know, uh, to his benefit. You know, how, how do you stop? I mean, really? So first and 10 after the penalty. Fresh set of downs for Chicago. They got to start taking advantage of these now. Kareem Hunt into the game now. Four wide receivers, one running back. Short pass to Hunt at the 50. He's to the 45 of Mexico City, and he picks up a first down. Hunt 
Hunt stays into the game. 2.18 to go here in the third quarter. Chicago trails by 20. Hunt picks up the first down, a gain of three. Time to throw underneath the bell near the 35. Petrie spins him down after a six yard gain. Second and four, 61 seconds left here in the third quarter. Chicago on the move. Finding some success on that one running back four wide receiver formation. Over the middle, completes to Robinson at the 25. McPherson with the quick tackle, but not before picking up 11 yards. 17 seconds left. They're going to try to get one more playoff. Gets a play away. Completes the pass to St. Brown at the 20. And that will be the last play of the third quarter. So Chicago finally gets on the scoreboard here in the third quarter. But Mexico City with a 20 point advantage. There's still 15 minutes to go. A lot of football left to be played. Chicago, important series of plays coming up here. Well, let's take a quick timeout. You're watching the Wild Card Weekend Western Conference game between the Chicago Fire and the Mexico City Aztecs exclusively here on the Replay Sports Channel. We'll be back in just a moment.
So right now we're going to take your back right out to the field. As we look at the third quarter statistics, Chicago finally getting on the scoreboard early with a Dicker 28-yard field goal. Crosby adding his third of the day late in the third quarter. And then Smith, five-yard touchdown pass to Cooper, puts us at where we are now, 23-3. Time of possession still in the favor of the Aztecs. Third down conversion. Chicago just 3 of 9. Mexico City 5 of 10. Net offense 246 yards for the Aztecs compared to 164 for Chicago. Turnovers. Two turnovers committed by Chicago. Penalties. There have been more penalties committed by Chicago. But Chicago is still in this, and there's still a full 15 minutes to go here. Now, they have the ball. They've been driving. Seven-play, 50-yard drive. Opportunity to gain some points. They would love to have a touchdown here. So you've got to be thinking that Nick Saban is looking at possibility of fourth and go here if he has to. Officially welcome you back to Azteca Stadium, quarter number four, getting underway. Hunt the deep back. Mayfield transfers the ball. Hunt goes to the left side and will lose a yard. Bring up third and five. Mayfield to throw. Over the middle, completes it to Bell at the 10. Stretches for a few extra yards. Rhodes with the stop near the 5. Injured player on the field. That was Neal. Couldn't put a lot of weight on his left foot there, so he has helped off the field. First and goal for Chicago. Ball be placed at the Mexico City 8. Just a minute in, in the fourth quarter. I formation. Penalty flag. Ball start. Offense. Number 14, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. And as they get near the end of this end zone of the stadium, it is getting louder. These Aztecs fans making a lot of noise, so very hard to hear. Snap count. Five yards back. Ball to Mexico City, 13. Still first and goal. Mayfield having to cover the earplugs there to hear the play being called in. It's so loud down there. Stands in the pocket, throws near side. Pass was intended for Robinson, incomplete. Closely guarded by Nixon. Brings up second and goal. Mexico City holds on to win. They will travel to St. Louis. And the winner of tomorrow's game between Memphis and San Diego have a date in Las Vegas to take on the Outlaws. A 
refilled from the pistol, looking. Fires over the middle. In and out of the hands of Robinson. He'll bring up third and goal. Saban said at halftime, Chicago's got to find a way to score touchdowns. Empty backfield behind Baker. Time to throw. Deflected. Fourth and goal. And what will Chicago do here? Cameron Dicker running out onto the field. They're going to go for a field goal. Still plenty of time. Just under 14 minutes left to go in this one. Dicker from about 31 yards away. Kick is good. So 13.54 left to go in this one. Mexico City 23, Chicago 6. Cameron Dicker has only missed two field goals all season. It's been perfect tonight. And Dicker's going to send this one out of the end zone. And Mexico City will start at their 25. 13 54 to go in this one. They have a 23 to 6 lead over Chicago. Arizona, oh, I'm sorry, Mexico City trying to get back to what they was working for them earlier. Quick toss to Fant near the 30. Brought down by Jenkins. Pickup of seven. Brings up second and three. Pollard checks into the game now at running back. Pitch left to Pollard. Penetrates the line, picks up one. Brooks with a tackle at the 33, brings up third and two. Empty backfield behind Smith. Trouble at the line, Smith forced to run. Gets the first down to the 40, 45, before Jenkins tackles him at the 46. Tenth tackle of the day for the safety, Rashawn Jenkins from the U. Fresh set of downs for Mexico City, ball resting at their own 46. Smith from the pistol on first down. Oh, he's looking to go long. Oh, and he is dropped. Grady Jarrett with the tackle. First sack of the night on Smith. Jarrett tied with Hubbard for sacks in the season. They both had five. This would give him six for the season. Draw play to Henry. Gets to the 35. Barmore brings him down at the 37. Pick up a four. Henry on the night, 18 carries, 45 yards. Third and 19. They need... They need to get to the Chicago 44. If 
Five wide receivers in for the Aztecs. Smith throws near side to Cooper. Just a pickup of eight. They'll bring up fourth and 11. And out will come the punting unit. Morstead back to punt. Cole back deep to receive. Morstead gets away a great punt. Cole from his own five to the 10, 15. Finally dragged down by Peppers at about the Chicago 15. Clock stops with nine and a half minutes left to go. And trailing by a lot. Chicago needs to get moving here. What is that, 17? Yeah, 17. Trailing by 17. They need to get moving here. And off to Montgomery. Round right in. He's to the 20. Nearing the first down. Tackled by Hamilton at the 23, eight yards. And checks into the game at running back. Right side of the line, and he's not going to be close. Still about two, shar, two yards shy of the first down. Clock continues to roll. We're under eight and under nine minutes now. Five wide receiver set. Baker calling out the call. Oh, fumble. He's hit in the backfield. Hangs on to the ball, gets the ball back, and ends up maintaining possession, but they lose three yards. And Chicago is going to be forced to punt again. Very frustrated Nick Saban on that sideline there. As Camarda gets the punt away, he's going near side, inside the 30. Nope, it's going to be returned by Cole, by Nixon. And he manages a 16-yard return. It looks like it was heading toward the sideline. He grabs it the last possible moment before it bounces out of bounds. And he gets a 16-yard return out of it. Clock stops with 7.20 left to go in this one. Aztecs looking to be on their way as the three seed to travel to St. Louis and take on the Stars, number two seed. Play action. Smith. Throws downfield, leads to Cooper at the 40. Inside Chicago territory, finally stopped at the 31. Pickup of 23 yards. Smith on the day, 22 of 29, 199 yards and one touchdown. Penalty flag on the play. Holding offense, number 87, 10 yard penalty. And the tight end, Noah Fant, will get called on hold. I'll bring him back 10 yards. All the way back to the Chicago 42. 6.29 left to go on the fourth. And 
this one is in the middle of nowhere land. Don't know who that was intended for. Either intended for Mike Evans or the tight end Noah Fan. Not sure who that was intended for. Second and 20. Ball to Chicago 42. Under six and a half minutes left to go. Penalty flag. Jarrett tackles Henry. Holding offense number 78. 10 yard penalty. And penalties starting to pile up here late in this contest. Both teams now have been penalized five times each. Ball will be put back at the Minnesota, Minnesota the Mexico City 48. No, I'm saying Minnesota. Mexico City. I hope I didn't say Memphis either. Someone will notice. My third sporting event I'm calling today. We did the two classic soccer games earlier today and now I'm calling a football game as Evans makes the catch at the 41. Finally whipped down by Davis 14 yards later. Smith is now over the 200-yard passing mark. And it brings up third and 16. Ball to Chicago 38, nearing the six-minute mark of this one. Chicago Fire needs to get a turnover here. on the day, eight, nine receptions for 89 yards. With time, pass to Cooper. That's nine catches on the day, or 10 catches on the day. Former Alabama Crimson Tide. 10 catches, 99 yards, and a touchdown. But didn't get the first down. It'll bring up fourth and six. Mason Crosby will come out once again. This one looks to be from about 55, 45, and he missed it. So clock stops at 441. Chicago, door still open here, but they got to make some things happen. Baker, in trouble, gets rid of the ball in time. Caught by Robinson at the Mexico City 35. Hangs on after the hit by Nixon. 29-yard reception. Baker runs down the field. They're going to go hurry up here. Gets the play off in time. Batted away at the line. Tipped by Wise. Clock stops with 4.03. Brings up second and 10. Second and 10. Baker completes it to Pickens inside the 30. Diggs drags him down by the belt. Pickup of seven. Brings up third and three. Again, no huddle. Four down territory here. Flag on the play. And did it get caught? No. St. Brown Personal had it. foul. Defense. Uh -oh. Number 54. Automatic. First down. So Brown gets called for the personal foul. Automatic first down. Ball be placed at the Mexico City 14. 339 left to go. Both teams have all three timeouts remaining.
Baker Mayfield. Back to pass. In trouble. Sacked by McNeil. Third sack of the night of the former Sooner quarterback. He's up second and 18. Mayfield being chased again. And he's sacked by Brown. Mayfield can't get out of his own way. Five yard loss. Ball will be placed to the Mexico City 27. 2.46 to go here in the fourth quarter. Things going bad to worse here for Chicago. Ferkser, though, makes a catch at the 20. Fourth and 17. They're going to wait till after the two minute warning. Two minute warning here in Mexico City. Chicago trails by 17. They have all three of their timeouts. Stay here and finish out the game. Stick around for the post-game show. We'll talk about the game, recap all the important points, and then uh, set the table for you for tomorrow's game, Sunday's games. London at Birmingham and Memphis at San Diego. So after the two minute warning, this could be the ball game. Fourth and 17, balls at the Mexico City 21. Chicago needs to reach the Mexico City four. This time, Mayfield lines up in the shotgun. He's got four wide receivers. Back to pass. Throws quickly to Robinson inside the 15. He's tackled immediately by Nixon. Just a pickup of eight, and that's it. Chicago's dream of winning their first postseason match since that Pantheon Bowl year of 2018. Looks like it's not going to happen this year. The Aztecs. Looking to win just their fourth playoff game. As it looks like all intents and purposes, they will be traveling to St. Louis next week. Smith taking no chances here. He's going to kneel on the ball. And some of the, some of the Mexico City fans don't, don't still don't understand that call. It's always fun watching that or, or hearing about that. And then, of course, you have some of the American fans try to explain it to them. It's, it's okay. It's okay. To, you know, we're, we're winning the game. Geno Smith without a team about this time a year ago to think he would find himself in a position to be starting quarterback for one of the top three best teams in the WFL. And they're going to have an opportunity to take on the defending 
League Champions next week. And that will be the last play. As Smith hands the ball to Adrian Hill. Mexico City Aztec players begin to celebrate. And Chicago Fire players begin to head back to their dressing rooms dejected. Time runs out. And it's all zeros across the scoreboard. Chicago 6, Mexico City 23. Congratulations to Mexico City Aztecs. They will move on to the divisional round. They will face the St. Louis Stars next week. Player of the game, got to be Geno Smith. How did he do it? 24 of 32, 223 yards, threw for the one touchdown. Did not throw any interceptions. Also happened to be the leading rusher, seven carries for 47 yards. Very good game there for Geno. Look at some of the other statistics there. 310 total yards. Every time in the red zone, they came away with points, whether it was field goals, touchdowns, 6 of 14 on third down. Dominating time of possession, 35 minutes and 32 seconds. No turnovers. Did have six penalties. Did allow one sack. But this was Mexico City's day as on the field Geno Smith and Baker Mayfield are shaking hands. Baker congratulating Geno. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see the trajectory Baker will make next year, how that situation is going to work out, and which quarterback is staying and which one's going, and where that quarterback would end up who doesn't stay in Chicago. So again, as we said, this is just one day in Wild Card Weekend. We got a lot more coming up for you. Tomorrow, we got London at Birmingham, the Sean Payton Bowl. Find out what that is tomorrow. And Memphis at San Diego. Two intriguing games because for Birmingham and Memphis, their starting quarterbacks are both out injured. Backups will be playing, and it'll be interesting to see how that affects games there. So again, I want to thank you all for watching tonight's game. Like us, subscribe to us on Facebook. We'd love to hear your comments about our games, about our league. Uh, interested in hearing about things that we could do to make it grow. Guys have been great. It's been a long day, fun day. Love doing stuff like this. And we plan to be back again in the next day or so to go ahead and do the remaining two games for Wild Card Weekend. So again, this is Glenn Walker from the Replay Sports Channel Studio signing off. Have a great night. Drive home safely. See you again soon.